Today in Ham Radio q and I count down my top 10 most popular ham radio videos of 2020. Did yours make the list? Well, keep watching to find out. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, as that John Lennon song goes, another year's over, and a new one's just begun. That means it's time for my annual list of the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2020. Well, looking at the numbers for this past year, I published 57 videos, and that's about a rate of one a week. It can be tough to maintain a production schedule like that, but I'm pretty proud that I've been able to keep up the pace. Those videos received 1.2 million views, which is over 95,000 hours of watch time. I also hit 38,000 subscribers at the end of the year, picking up over 14,000 new viewers this past year alone. Those are some pretty outstanding numbers, and I'm excited about this level of growth. But I couldn't do it without you, and I'm thankful for your continued support of this channel. It gives me the incentive to continue on, and I'll maintain my schedule of producing high-quality videos at a rate of about once per week. With that being said, let's look at the top 10 videos for the last year. When I compile the list, I take into consideration the number of views, engagement, and the watch time. I then average those numbers over a 30-day period so that a video produced in October can have equal footing on one made in February. But enough of my methods, here are the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2020. Starting off the list at number 10 is my video for APRS on the uh, Yaesu FT3DR. Now the FT3DR is my replacement handheld to my long running VX8R and its large touch screen makes using APRS a joy to use on this radio. I've been glad to continue my series on APRS by looking at Yaesu's newest handheld and creating a tutorial on its APRS or automated packet reporting system functionality. Number nine is my ham shack tour. At the start of the pandemic, I upgraded my station with a new HF transceiver, a Yaesu FTDX 3000. And boy, I'm glad I did, as it sure brought a lot of joy and allowed me to dedicate my FT891 to just portable use. In this video, I look at all of the pieces you see on my desk and how they work together to be a functional amateur radio station. Number eight is my construction video of the off-center fed dipole antenna. In my plans for field day this past year, I wanted to build a multi-band antenna that gave me 80 meter through 10 meter support. The off-center fed dipole antenna was selected as it is easy to build and deploy, and with a full range tuner, it allows me to work just about any band. This video shows the construction and delves a bit into the theory on how it works. Speaking of antennas, number seven is the Abri tactical handheld antenna. The Abri is a strange looking antenna that actually performs quite well. How well you might ask? Well, all I'll say is that I keep one in my portable kit for use while camping. Check out my, the review and my live performance test for more. Number six is probably my most controversial video of the year. I asked the question, if a bow fang is an appropriate stuff hits the fan radio. I understand that this inexpensive handheld has its proponents and critics, but I make the case that instead of relying on small handheld radios, we should be practicing our HF communications capability. Halfway through the list, at number five is my video on Q codes and calling CQ. As I was producing my Parks on the Air videos, I started receiving questions on what I was saying over the air. This video decodes some of the jargon and terminology commonly heard on the HF bands. At number four is my 2020 HF field kit. I made a video on my HF field kit back in 2019, but after a year of using it, I had made enough changes and adjustments that I felt the video needed an update. I've now got a kit that I find to be quite useful, but there are still some tweaks to be had. So, you know, like how we're constantly changing our everyday carry items, uh, you'll probably see me make an updated HF kit video this coming year. Now with the top three videos, 
things get a little bit interesting. Uh, these three could be, you know, really in any order as they were pretty close in view count. But as I weighed engagement and their sustained interest, the order pretty much was set. So the number three video of 2020 is on amateur radio call signs. This video actually had the highest number of all time views in 2020. In it, I look at the American call sign system, its history, and how call signs are systematically issued. If you ever wondered how you got your call sign, this is the video to watch. Number two is my product announcement of the Yaesu FTM300 dual band VHF UHF transceiver. You know, viewers are always interested in new radio when a new radio hits the market. And I thought I'd jump on that bandwagon by looking at the features of the then just announced FTM300. Well, my prognostications at the end of the video didn't quite hold true, but you know, this video still generated uh, quite a bit of interest. And the number one ham radio video of 2020 is my video on building a dipole center insulator. My construction videos often do quite well and this one is no different. In it, I go through the steps on how to build a center insulator out of just a few parts and a minimum amount of tools. You know, once you know how to make your own, you'll never buy store-bought again. So there you go, the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2020. Did your favorite make the list? Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, you can also find a playlist of the top 10 videos in the, in the video description below, or, you know, just click on that link that's uh, above my head here. Not mentioned in the top 10 list are my Parks on the Air activation videos. You know, none of them broke the top 10 this year, but I do have a separate video highlighting the top five activations of this past year. And you'll find a link to that video in the description below. But here are some plans for my coming year. My favorite videos to produce are the Parks on the Air activations. So expect more of those as we hit the road and I explore the intersection of ham radio and outdoor adventure. You know, I'll continue my monthly uh, Q&A live streams, and I've got some construction videos planned with a couple of fun antenna projects. You know, maybe we'll squeeze in a fox hunt here and there, who knows. Whatever happens in 2021, I expect it to be a real fun amateur radio year. Is there a topic you'd like to see? Let me know and I'll add it to the list. But that's it for 2020, thanks for watching. Uh, for more articles and information, check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. And your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Support us on Patreon to help keep the mission alive. Give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, if, especially if this is your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and a happy new year.